If I want to find the value of a derivative at a certain point, the first thing I'm going to do is click on my math button right here in the graphing calculator. And then I scroll down and until I scroll until I reach number 8. Right here, if you look, oops, I'm going to pass a little bit. Number 8 says n derivative. And what that means is the value of a derivative at a value n. So here, if I press enter, I get this format. Yours might be slightly different. Don't worry about it. You might have to just enter in your expression first, then your variable you're looking at, and then the number at which you're evaluating your expression. In this one, I enter my variable first. It says d over d what? It wants to know what variable are we going to use. So here, I type in x as my variable, and it jumps to the next spot. In parentheses now, I enter in my expression. I'm going to enter in x to the third power. And now to reach the next spot, I just scroll to the right. right. Do that twice. Here, I have this line which means such that. So we're saying find the derivative of this expression at this x value. Let's say x is 2. If I enter in 2 and press enter, it gives me the answer which is 12. Although I'm still curious as to why it gives me this point zero 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 one, with this derivative, when x is two, your answer should just be twelve. You might have to enter in things slightly different. You might have to enter in the expression first. Then I would enter in the variable, in this case x. So be expression x to the third, comma x, and then comma x equals two. And here's my key press history. All right, hope that helped.